Well, we're staying with the theme because it's not usually a sport which hits the headlines, but the World Chess Championship could be heading for Armageddon. That's because after nearly a month of fiercely contested play and 12 consecutive draws, the final is now being decided by a series of fast-paced tiebreakers. American Fabiano Caruana and the Norwegian Magnus Carlsen are both grandmasters and they're currently facing off in four shortened games. And if no winner is crowned, the games are shortened still until one final game of Armageddon chess. The winner will take home nearly £900,000. Well, if that didn't make much sense, hopefully our guests can explain it a bit better. Sarah Hegarty is a chess player, former UK under-18 champion, and joins me now. And we're just looking at these pictures. Uh, can you explain who's, who's winning <laughs> at the um, moment? <laughs> yes, so they've played 12 classical games and everyone has been a draw, which is unprecedented. Um, so it was, it, but they've actually been really exciting games. So now it's gone to the rapid plays. And the first match kicked off at three o'clock. Uh, I was watching it just before I came into the studio and it looked like Magnus Carlsen was on top. Uh, the action's probably taking place right now. <laughs> it's getting very exciting. Um, he's white in this first game, so he'd be expected to push for the win. Now, Sarah, I, I, I'm just looking. There's clearly commentary on this. I have never heard chess commentary in my life. Can we just listen in for a moment? Let's just hear what they're saying. And perpetual check sues. Yep. This is the, so uh, this will not the, happen. the big word that nobody wants to say. This is not going to happen. No draw. No. So how um, do you I think Magnus this? will take on D4 and be pushing for a win here for the rest of the game. Maybe you take... Sarah, I, I don't know about oh, you. I, I mean, I can it. understand now why people get completely, uh, totally Maybe drawn into this. And this is being played in London, isn't it? Just to yes. avoid 95. Now, just explain yeah, this whole timing team. issue, because they've, they've played a number of games so far with a time limit, but each time there's a draw, each time they get into the next round, if you like, they, they shorten the time. Um, so they played the first 12 games um, in the classical format. So that's the, a lot, uh, one game a day, and they're very, very slow games. Normally you'd have a result by the end of that, and someone would be crowned champion. However, because it's um, equal, every game's been a draw, it's gone on to the tie breaks. So today is a little bit more exciting for the audience, because the action happens very, very quickly. And today we'll have um, a world champion, whether it'll be Magnus or Fabiano, we don't know yet. But today there has to be a result, no matter what happens, we'll have a world champion. I won't say new world champion, but we'll have a world champion that's, you know, the, the 2018 champion today. I mean, apart from the money, a million dollars, I mean, there's a lot at stake. I mean, Caruana is striving to be the first to be US uh, champion since the legendary Bobby Fischer. <laughs> Uh, yes, I mean, the nerves are really there. Like, Magnus Carlsen's been world champion now for five years, and, you know, he's been on top of the game, but Caruana is now kind of competing with him. And you saw in the last match of the classical games that Magnus Carlsen was in a better position, and he was so nervous, he offered a draw. And all the commentators... He around offered them, a draw? Yeah, everyone was in shock um, because he was in a better position. He knew he was in a better position, um, and he offered a draw, and uh, no-one could believe it, actually. Was, so, uh, so what was that about, Sarah? Uh, well, I think it was nerves. I think because he was black in the last game, he decided he was going to... A draw would be great because he's very, very good at the playoffs. He's used to them from when he played Karyakin in New York two years ago. Um, so I think he had it in his head before the game, I'm going to get a draw and that's all I want. So I think that was his strategy and he didn't want to deviate from that. And, I mean, as a player yourself, that, that pressure of time, the, the, presumably that's when mistakes get made, is it? Yes, I mean, that's the thing. In the classical games, they can, um, you know, work things out when mistakes happen. And that's why they've, it's gone to a draw, um, because they've been so careful. But now it's rapid play games. They, they don't have time. You know, they've only got 20, uh, 20 minutes plus 10 seconds for these games. So it's very, very high stakes. But Magnus is number one in the world at rapid play chess, and Caruana is number 10. Whereas in the classical games, they're numbers one and two. So. And, 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 I mean, in, in terms of chess, they, I mean, they're, they're rock stars, aren't they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, yeah, they're absolutely uh, fantastic. And Magnus Carlsen's, you know, been a model and, you know, they're He's very, what? very famous in the chess world. He's um, been a model? Yeah, for G-Star Raw. <laughs> Oh, really? OK. Uh, now, we, people may have their preconceptions about chess players, but, I mean, are these two men that you would happily have a drink with in the bar? Would it be fun? Oh, definitely. Um, you know, they go, because I've played in Olympiads, and we go to the bar, and, you know, we all hang out, and the rest days they'll have, you know, a drink when it's all over. 
And they both got a good sense of humour, have they? But because, I mean, one's, again, one thinks of chess players as these deeply, always thinking, deep in thought, and, and, and obsessed with that particular moment, that, that game of chess. Yeah, well, that's, that's something that, you know, I personally would like to change because I consider us all pretty cool. <laughs> you know, there's the odd person that's a bit different, but that, it's good to be different. And um, it kind of makes... You know, chess is just phenomenal. It's such a great game. You get so many different characters involved in chess, so many different people. And, um, yeah, I don't like the conception that it's for geeky players. We need well, to change that. You, you, you are changing it. And I, I just wonder, I mean, when you look at how they play, can you tell much about them as people? Um... I mean, can I mean, you tell a risk taker, someone who might just do that, that, that thing where you go, wow? Um, yes, I mean, probably not at this level, um, as in, you know, they're so, so good at chess that they don't take ridiculous risks. Um, if I refer back to that game I was talking about where Magnus decided to offer a draw, I mean, that, that's strange because it was sort of a risk-free position. And after the game, you know, Caruana said he didn't really have a plan. Um, so, I mean, they do take risks, and they'll take a lot more risks in the tie breaks today, which is why it's so exciting for the audience, and because they've got to. Yeah. And, and presumably, Sarah, when you're sitting opposite someone you've played many times, do, do you understand how each other plays, what their weaknesses are? Uh, yes, I mean, that's um, the difference now. We've got computers analysing chess. Every single game you play uh, will go on the internet, you know, within sort of, well, if not at the moment you play it, within an hour or so. So what we'd do before a big match is we'd look up our opponent on the database and strategize and work out what line we're going to play. And you know, we, I mean, the thing about this World Championship match is that Fabiano Caruana's uh, preparation and his team have done a much better job at that than Magnus Carlsen. Um, and that's why uh, Carlsen's not been able to get any, any real chances apart from the first game. So, well, that sounds almost like dirty tricks, but uh, a, d a detective agent sat has been hired, hasn't it, for this series to ensure that no one is cheating? Yeah, I mean, obviously, like with computers, you get all these problems. Um, we've had quite a lot of cases in the chess world of cheating. Uh, one in England, actually, this, well, very recently. Um, however, you know, it comes with its advantages as well. And now when we go to major tournaments, we go through metal detectors and that kind of thing. But people have been cheating through their watches, through the, putting things in shoes. How? How, how Sarah? How do you I cheat with these shoes? I'm expert. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think, well, I, there was... I can't remember, there was, a, there was a blind person that was caught cheating because he had to have a special device um, to, you know, to talk about the moves and there was like that. There's also children that have phones in toilets and then go to the same cubicle, things like that. Um, but I mean, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a problem, but you know, we're doing everything to stop it happening and you know, it, you'd be a bit silly to try and cheat in chess. <laughs> My God. I mean, like, chess is fun, it's cool, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, there's one sort of world championship match which um, you know, one player accused the other of cheating uh, a long time ago. Because I think, I think basically, um, when the computers first came, came in and started being good at chess, you know, people think, oh no, what if they're using a computer? And even like when Kasparov played Deep Blue in 1997, um, you know, he thought Deep Blue was cheating. He thought there was a person behind <laughs> IBM making some of the moves um, because Deep Blue had been programmed to be very, very materialistic. And then there was one particular game where he wasn't. He was playing like, you know, a human might play and more positionally. Sarah, so. it's absolutely fascinating. Now, uh, uh, the toughest question you're going to get today, who do you want to win, Magnus? <laughs> Or Fabiano? Um, I'm a massive Magnus fan. Um, you know, I, I really want him to win. I mean, they're both great people. I mean, I went to New York to watch Magnus two years ago, and, you know, he's very, very inspirational. Uh, but, however, they're, they're both great players, and I want the best player to win. Um, interestingly, yesterday, uh, Gary Kasparov, the former world champion, tweeted that Magnus is not coping well with the nerves, and his idea of who's going to win has changed. Sarah, so. do me a favour. Uh, let's just show. I just want to show the game right now. Uh, we're just going to. Can you? I what, what's your assessment of what's going on there? Okay. Went wrong in the you know so, live um, site. So yeah, White, which is Magnus, like, no, is, is pushing, uh, pushing for the win there. He, he's better, and that's the kind of game that. I mean, they're they're on the anal so Yeah, they're analysing it now. But you know, Magnus is pushing for a win in that game, and you know, if he achieves that, that'll be massive because in the next game, um, Caruana will. You know, we'll have to, well, he won't have to win, but he should win to bounce back, otherwise he's going to be in trouble. Go on, if, predict, predict the next move. Um, OK, I can only really see the analysis move. So it's, it's Caruana's move now. I can see their analysis board. The other one's a bit small, so let's have a look. 
It's better, well, it's Carolina's move, so what's he going to do? Oh, so you can't see the I button. don't know, I was asking you what he's going to do. I can't <laughs> see because the red <laughs> thing's going up, but um, <laughs> let's just be. Oh, it's gone away now. Okay, so um, it's now White's move, so he's probably going to recapture the pawn on d4, where it takes d4. I tell you what, this, we're going to do this every day, I think. Sarah, it's been fascinating. Thank you so much for joining us. That's Sarah Hegarty, former UK under-18 chess champion, and we're going to be hearing a lot more from you, I'm sure. Really good of you to speak to us. Sarah, thank you. Nice to speak to you. Bye. Thanks.